in Germany, but this is my first time, so I'm excited. And he's going in on chicken wings, not Mexican. I just ordered some pulled pork tacos. I got my Bloody Maria. He has his margarita. And once we finish eating, we're just gonna explore the city a little bit. It's gonna bring Penelope though. She didn't want to. She's napping. She's alone and sad because her parents left her. She's very sad. I love this Bloody Mary. It's so good and so spicy. You should probably tell them that the, they call it a Bloody Maria. You're not stupid. You know that it's called a Bloody Mary. But it's a lot of, yeah. The menu. There you go. Same. Thanks, babe. Thanks, babe. Thank you. Because I was already thinking. He's so helpful. If I was watching the video, I'd be like, wow, she's dumb. It's not a Bloody Mary. That's what you would think? You're rude and super critical. It's true. Mine's really spicy. Try it. Like, really spicy. But it's so good. You don't like it? I don't like Bloody Marys. Okay. What is all spicy though? But it's Bloody Maria. I mean, a margarita tastes like a margarita. It's strong though. Whoa, yours is really strong. I might want to get you drunk here. This has a little cactus. Steven just ordered a pisco sour. It's a traditional Chilean drink, or you could say Peruvian. No. It's a battle, but it's actually really freaking good. It doesn't taste like the originals that we make. It tastes a little bit different, don't you think? I think it tastes a little different. It's still really good though, but you guys decide. Chile or Peru, who's the one that made it? <laughs> you gotta know your facts, you guys. So yours does not look like Mexican food whatsoever. It's not. This is so pretty. It's Mexican Very fusion. aesthetically pleasing. I got my, my slaw on the side just in case I didn't like it, but ooh, I'm excited to try these. Um, How's your hamburger slash hot dog? Yo. Is it good? Oh god. <laughs> That's funny. It's got like Mexican flavors, but it's not Mexican. It literally is like a hot dog. It's not the shape of a hot dog, but it it's a burger. It's pretty interesting. about like two months ago when Anderson was visiting. And even then, the weather was still nice. It was a really nice day. It was really cold in the morning. But today's about, what, 78 degrees? Which means summer is finally here in Germany. I'm so excited about it. We really have no set plans while being here. So we're sort of just walking around, seeing what we will stumble upon. Hopefully some cute boutiques. These are for Those candles. Are candles. Yeah. I was talking about these though, because look, the. I feel like jumping into the water right now. Tiny boat. It feels so good outside. Tiny boat. I know. I want to be on that boat right now, too. It's hot enough to where I would really go into the water. Just throw my little not bikini. Steven, you are so bad when it comes to going into the pool. If there's a little bit of wind, you will not go. And it's cold and unenjoyable. There's a little bit of wind now. Which is why I wouldn't the, jump in. It can never be super still unless you're somewhere like really humid, like Singapore. You guys, look at the background. Look at the water, ugh. The closest, the nearest water to us is about here, about an hour. off from a hot day. Ooh, look at you. Look at that hair back.
head. Oh She's about to fall from being so excited. Penelope's so excited to see her period. So we just got back to the house, only to leave again. We're gonna take Penelope to the dark, the dark, the, the dog park um, for the first time on Volgoy, which is just another military base. Penelope can be very timid, so I'm just hoping that it all goes well. And after meeting Buddha, she's a little better with bigger dogs. Before meeting Buddha, she was horrible when it came to big dogs that we would come across on our walks. By the way, Buddha is my mother-in-law's dog. She's a pit bull, so they got along great. So I'm hoping just with that interaction that she's a little better with other dogs. It's the little dogs, honestly, that bark at her the most. The big dogs always want to play with Penelope, huh, babe? It's always the big dogs. There's always this little um, pug that we come across. Um, I'm pretty sure the girl, she works around the neighborhood, the owner. Every time we see that pug on our walks, she's, oh, he or she, I don't know if it's a boy or girl, always barks at Penelope, and Penelope's just like, I don't care. I kind of hope the dog park is a little empty, so she's not overwhelmed, but we'll see. All right, let's go. Come on. Oh, good girl. So, there's literally nobody here. So the whole point of taking her to the dog park was so that she could socialize, but there's nobody here, so she's just gonna run around. Otherwise, we could have just taken her to the other park by our house, but maybe a dog will appear later. Nelope's back there, we're leaving. Let's see what she does. She's in her own little world right now. <laughs> but the minute she sees us gone, she's about to dart over here. She still isn't looking. She saw us. She's running, babe, look. <gasps> Do you guys see her? <laughs> She's like, wait, don't leave me. <laughs> you. you almost ran. I almost ran you over. Oh, no. <laughs> we just found a Frisbee. <laughs> Steven says she thinks it's a plate. She's curious, she's like, what is this? She's like, she's like where's the food? There's no, there's no food on here. Babe, come back one more time. Ready? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. She obviously has more energy. Mamacita! She's tired. Look at her drool. <laughs> you look like a real bulldog now. Time to go. All right, guys, we're going to end the vlog here. Signing off. We'll see you guys on the next one.